What is going on guys, Dorco's game is back again, I hope you are doing very fantastic today and I have a very interesting theory for you today to think upon and it is, is Golden Bonnie Fredbear? Now, we know that apparently the minigame uh, Take Care to the Children, you play as apparently Fredbear and you're taking care to the children, giving them cake well, the murderer happens. As you can see, it's a very small building, and it's not pizza. They're not feeding pizza to the kids, they're feeding cake. So, a lot of people are saying this is um, the origins of Fredbear's Diner. Now, I'm going to compare the sprite of Fredbear with all of the other uh, Freddy Fazbear animatronics. And as you can see, that it doesn't have a bow tie, and its ears are not there as well. Its ears aren't outside of its hat. Out of any Freddy Fazbear animatronic, it always has ears outside of its head, not underneath its hat. Also, it wouldn't be underneath its hat anyway. It would be quite weird to have ears underneath a hat when, you know, this is supposed to be out. So, um, also, it's not. it doesn't have a bow tie as well. That's something important as well. Now, I want to compare this with Golden Bonnie. We know... Golden Bonnie doesn't have ears on the side, and it has buttons, it doesn't have um, a bow tie. Um, a lot of people are saying it could have fell off because there's a gap there, but um, it looks like it just has buttons for the moment. Also, it's holding a cake, and I noticed in the Five Nights at Freddy's free trailer that Bonnie can hold cake. I know this seems very strange, but on the drawing, guys, you can see Bonnie there holding cake, giving it to a child. So we see a hint from Scott saying, oh, this is um, this is Bonnie giving a cake, it's similar to Fredbear. Who knows? But, what if its ears are underneath the hat? As you can see, guys, the hat is big. It's bigger than most of them from any of the other Freddy Fazbear animatronics. But this Fredbear has a massive hat. And what if its ears are underneath the hat? Also, it's the same colour as Freddy Fazbear from the Sprite games. So, again, um, a lot of people are saying because it's worn, it's turned into a yellow colour because that's what happens um, brown when it gets worn over time. I mean, it's for a very, very long time. From Fred Fredbear's Diner, from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 to Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and then onto this Five Nights at Freddy's 2 ga 3 game, sorry, which takes 30 years after it as well, including the past from Fredbear's Diner. That's a very, very long time. And that's why it's so worn and rotten, everything's all over the place. It looks worse than the um, old animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. They look, it looks really bad and really, really worn. Now, also with the origin of Fredbear, have a look at Five Nights at Freddy's free trailer, guys. There's lots of things what hint to us that this Golden Bonnie might have be, been spoken to. So we see he has always been here. We have a place for him. So as you can see, if he has always been here, it could be referring to he has always been here with the business. He has always been here since the start. He was in Fred Bear's diner. Another thing about the trailer, guys, is that after it says he always does, you see Bonnie look at the camera very sneakily. And what do you notice? That none of the other animatronics look at the camera. Is Scott trying to hint to us, hint to us that again, Bonnie is more than it seems? Another thing as well, guys, is about purple. There's a lot of hints saying, oh, purple, 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 purple. And often everybody thinks that it's to do with the purple man. And everything seems to be about purple. So, what if actually this isn't to do with the purple man, and it's actually do, to do with Bonnie? And we know that Bonnie has been purple in the past. And maybe, again, the purple guy is referred to as purple because maybe, again, he used the Bonnie costume, which is why the animatronics uh, think that he's purple all the time. So there you go, guys. I actually think that this might be with Fredbear. Maybe he did lose his hat and he did have ears underneath his hat. 
the buttons match. Also with the mouth as well, guys. If you have a look at Fredbear's mouth, it's wide open. It's wide open. And if you have a look at any of the other sprites of Freddy um, from the game, uh, the mini games, it doesn't have that mouth. It has a very open mouth. So don't you think that's strange? Because if you actually look at this golden bonnie, it has a massive mouth. And it looks like it's just been filled in with um, rubble and teeth and really weird teeth, actually. Um, so it does seem to have a massive mouth as well. Also, guys, I have a theory. Of people are going to say, oh, what, what, what about Golden Freddy? Um, what if, guys, Golden Bonnie from Fredbear's Diner was used to kill a child, right? And the owners... But for, oh my god, uh, everybody thinks Golden Bonnie is bad. Oh god, what can we do, what can we do? We can't keep this Golden Bonnie to the public. How about we change Golden Bonnie to Golden Freddy? See what I'm trying to say here? Maybe they replaced the mascot. It is a main mascot, guys. Um, Golden Bonnie possibly was the main mascot. It was used to kill the kids. It had bad publicity. Everybody was complaining about this golden bunny being used by the murderer. They don't want to see it with the kids. So, they changed the mascot to Golden Freddy. And that's why we see Golden Freddy all the time. Maybe this is just a little trick by Scott um, to try and tell us that, no, it's got nothing to do with Golden Freddy anymore. It's to do with Golden Bonnie. We always thought, oh, Golden Freddy was used to, uh, to kill the children. But now um, the origins seem to be linking with Golden Bonnie. So there are some similarities between Golden Bonnie and Fredbear. To sum up, guys, um, Bonnie's ears could be underneath the hat. Uh, Fredbear is holding a cake. On one of the pictures on the wall, we can see Bonnie holding a cake. It has buttons, which, is, which look very similar to Golden Bonnie's buttons. It doesn't have... Um, a bow tie, which Golden Bonnie doesn't have, but all the other Freddy Fazbear um, have bow ties. And its mouth is wide open as well, which is really, really weird. And it seems that Golden Bonnie has a massive mouth as well. And um, Freddy Fazbear has ears on the sides, but this one doesn't. So again, it could be the long ears underneath the hat. And again, with the age and stuff, the rust and the worn outness brown turning to a rotten yellow and it being absolutely horrifying rubble worn out and stuff like that but again let me know what you guys think and uh, thank you for watching and i will see you all next time <laughs>